Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, and if not, you might have already seen this video, but this is the first video in a series of problems that I've had with my Tesla Model X. Now, of course, look at it. It's beautiful. It's a great car. I've really enjoyed driving it, but I have had a world of problems with this car, but mostly with Tesla service or the lack of service, I guess you could say. So in this video, I discovered the very first problem with this Tesla Model X. I was very angry, very disappointed because I was a huge Tesla fanboy. And as you go through this playlist, you'll see my tone change. I really loved this car. I really loved Tesla. And I was just so happy to be a part of the club, basically. I have been wanting a Tesla for a while. I'm really into EVs. Behind me is my 2014 Toyota RAV4 EV, and I love that car. That car, knock on wood, has been flawless for me. It's needed almost nothing in six years, but this Tesla Model X cannot stay out of the shop, mostly because local service just cannot fix the problems appropriately or correctly. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about a hole I found in my rear diffuser that was there at delivery. I didn't notice it at delivery. I was super excited because delivery went so well. And I had been hearing horror stories from people who were there to pick up their vehicles and there was a scratch or something really bad wrong with the car and Tesla tried delivering it to them. So I was very thankful that I didn't have any of those issues. The car was absolutely flawless at delivery. If you haven't already, you can watch my whole playlist that I made for my ordering and delivery process. All of that went quite smooth compared to what you're about to watch in this playlist. So I've been extremely disappointed. Spoiler, by the end of this playlist, my patience for Tesla is gone. I wish I never bought this car. It's been a horrible, horrible experience. As of today, it's been about six months and I wasn't able to drive my car pretty much all of January. <laughs> just, just bunker down and get ready to watch this playlist. It's been a nightmare, one thing after another. I wouldn't wish this ownership experience on anybody, but it all starts here right now with this video, unfortunately, with this hole, this stupid hole in my diffuser that Tesla covered up. So here it goes, watch the video, comment below, let me know what you think. Let me know what you would do if you found this hole and how you would feel about it. Hey guys, I just tried going live, but it didn't work out. I kept losing connection. So I just thought I'd do a normal quick video without the gimbal because I have to get under the car to show you something. But I'm here with my brand new Tesla Model X and I'm trying to get it ready for National Drive Electric Week here in Ithaca that's happening this Saturday in a couple days. So I want to install the trailer hitch. I'm not going to go into how to do it because there's other videos that have shown, but basically there's just a little panel underneath the car that you just pop out and you slide in the trailer hitch receiver. It's, it's really easy, but I'm getting that ready for the T-Rex so I can take both of them to the event this Saturday. And I found something that Tesla covered up and I'm pissed. So come under here with the car with me. And right here is the panel that you pop out. And right there is a freaking hole. And what they did is they had Tesla stickers that actually says Tesla on it. And they covered up the hole instead of replacing the whole diffuser. I can't believe that shit. That is so messed up. So I already have a service appointment scheduled because the other issue that I have that I didn't notice until later is that this window is rubbing on something inside the door. I don't know if you can see these lines, but it rubs on something inside there. Uh, it doesn't seem to make any noise or anything. It still operates just fine but it's rubbing on the glass and that needs to get fixed. So my appointment was for that. Also in the appointment, I had requested that they update my software because I still have an older version of nine, evidently. Uh, so I don't even have the newest version. And then 10 is coming out, hopefully soon. But yeah, can you guys believe that? They just put Tesla stickers over the hole that who knows how it got there. That's messed up. I mean, I've had really good luck with the car. The whole delivery experience went really well. 
the, my first drive went really well. And I still have to edit that video and get that out to you guys. But all of that went really well. And to see the actually hid damage by putting Tesla freaking stickers on it. Wow. Wow. That is, that's freaking, that's, that's a new low. So I got to add that to my service ticket. And I'm going to insist they replace the entire diffuser because that is just, yeah, that's not good. Um, but I'm going to also throw in a little video here that I took when my wife and I showed Caleb the car the very first time. So that's cute and that's kind of nice. So I'm going to throw that here at the end for you guys. All right, before I go to the video of Caleb, I thought I'd actually show you a little bit more of what's going on. I don't know if they changed the trailer hitch, but not the diffuser. But you can see how this is rubbing and bending my diffuser. You can see how that's not straight at all. And it's tight. Like it's, it will not move here in the center. Like the sides, you can see they flex. These all flex. But that's how tight, the, oh, there it goes. That's how tight this trailer hitch is against this plastic. So that's not cool. I hear I thought my car was all great and I was so lucky to have a, a spotless, perfect delivery. Yeah, I mean, the rest of the diffuser looks fine. Yeah, but check out that freaking hole. And the sticker even says Tesla. Like, you're not going to get away with that. It's crazy. Well, that's it. That's the video. That's the hole that started it all. It's, I'm still just dumbfounded watching this video and going back and watching myself in the upcoming playlist that you're about to watch. You're going to see my temperament change completely through all of this. Like, I was still a fanboy when it started. I was getting shit on by Tesla, and I was still a fanboy. I still love this car. I was still so excited to be part of the club and it just unfortunately all continued to go downhill to the point now, six months later, spoiler alert again, I just hope Tesla burns. Like they have screwed my family over so bad and I just don't know how I can ever trust and respect them again after everything I've been through. I don't want to give too much away because it is quite the saga unlike anything else i've ever heard you might hate it you might love it it depends on your viewpoint of tesla but here it goes here's the playlist watch it and let me know what you think in the comments before i get there i want to show at least one positive thing and that was my son seeing the car for the first time and i was so excited to show my family the car when i got back this is when i first got back with the car after picking it up in mount kisco new york and it, Caleb's reaction is just so cute. I love that kid. So that'll come up right now. And then feel free to stick around for the rest of the playlist and let me know what you think. I honestly hope you guys have a better ownership experience than I did. It's just been a horrible one for me. But you win some, you lose some. What? Hey, buddy. Yeah. You see it already? He's pointing at it. Want to come see our new car, buddy? Yeah. Bumblebee. Bumblebee. I have to speed this up, buddy. You're moving pretty slow. <laughs> yeah, you be careful. This is the first time he's seen this. White car, that's right. All right, do you want to see the doors open? <laughs> Was that scary? Want to go check it out? <laughs> no, he's scared. Look at your car seats in there. It's all ready to go. Oh, the back door opens. See the front door? I can't. You can't do it from the remote. What? Hey, Caleb, do you want to see? Look at this. 
Look at this little car. That's the remote for the car. I, I don't really want you to play with it though. I just wanted to show it to you. And look, I push this button and the other door opens. Wow, you just care about that. This <laughs> He's gonna put it on the ground and just drag it along. All right, let's go for a drive. How's that sound? Wanna go for a car ride? No. Oh, well, I guess I gotta return the car then.